Hey, a friend, Chris here from WhiteLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I want to cover a topic, a question, a concern that crops up a lot that I see on forums, comments, emails I receive. And that question or concern is, is, hey, I'm playing my project and my song, my project in Logic Pro is in the red. And what do they mean by in the red? Well, they're worried that their song is clipping because I have a whole video dedicated to clipping and why it's bad and why you should watch out for it. But they're concerned based on the wrong information. And I want to show you right now. So if we open the mixer in Logic Pro, go to the end to the stereo output. Right here, the stereo peak meters on the stereo output give you some indication of the peak levels of your song. And from about three here, which is negative three and above, that section of the meters turns red. In fact, let me hit play on this project and I'll just show you. Right, so the meter is red for that top section. Are you in the red? Well, I mean, I guess visually you're in the red, but by in the red, we mean clipping and clipping starts at zero and above. So that section of the meter, you don't have to worry about it. It's letting you know, hey, you're close to clipping. You wanna be aware, you wanna be cognizant, but there's nothing to worry about with that section. And if you look at the tag above the peak meter, it says negative 0.3. So at this view, Everything's hunky-dory. Now, I'm going to show you a better way of identifying if you're clipping and if you're in the red and if you should worry and how to deal with that. But right now, we're A-OK. -okay. So that red section at the top of the meter, just throw it out of your mind. Don't worry about it ever again. Now, if I turn off the adaptive limiter on the stereo output and hit play again, watch this. Now the tag above the peak meters is shining 3.6 in red. That tells you I'm completely clipping. This we need to worry about, the tag at the top. This is a problem. So that's why there's an adaptive limiter in place. This is the Take a Day Trip Manzana demo project that comes with Logic Pro, and it came with the adaptive limiter in place here. And this is what you want to have in place for every project you ever work on. You want to have a limiter as a final plug-in on your stereo output to ensure you don't clip because the limiter, its entire purpose is to prevent peaks above a certain threshold. So check it out. If we look at the plugin, we look at the meters, you'll see this thing is knocking back like almost eight decibels of gain reduction, and yet it doesn't go above zero. Check it out. Ah, but. I just said it doesn't go above zero, right? Notice on the output, we have a measurement of 0 0.1 in red. That means by 0.1 of a decibel, this song, this project has gone above zero. So in fact, it actually is clipping. And that's because this true peak detection is turned on. Right, so there's peaks, there are peak levels in your project. And that's what all of these meters across the mixer are telling you the peak levels, but there's another value that was determined called true peak. And these are intersample peaks. There's a whole lot of, you know, science-y sort of explanation behind this, but just know that there could be peaks in between your peaks that when reconstructed result in clipping. And so if I turn off the true peak detection here and hit play, It appears we never go above the output ceiling here, which is negative 0.3, but we turn it back on. We do go above zero. What also can really help is if you go to the metering section of the plugins and load a level meter after your output limiter. So this could be the logic limiter, the adaptive limiter, mastering assistant, any limiter third party that you use, if we use the level meter and set it to, instead of peak to true peak, we can also view any potential inner sample peaks. There you go. And they appear 
kind of almost at random, right? And that's because these meters are reconstructing where potential intersample peaks could occur. But there you go. We have to worry about this, the true peak value. This is the red that you need to worry about. In this case, maybe we want to turn down the output ceiling by at least negative 0.1. And this output ceiling is basically turning down the mix. If I turn it down two decibels, we turn it down two decibels. If I set this to about negative 0.4, check it out. Right there, you can see negative zero, but it's in yellow. It's not in red, so we're in the clear. However, a good safety net in this day and age of streaming and it, a good safety net is just to turn down the output ceiling to negative one. And this will make sure that any potential intersample peaks, even if they're quite loud because you've squashed your mix pretty heavily, likely are never going to reach zero and above. So right out of the gate, we're negative 0.3 on one side, on the left side, and negative 0.1 on the right side above negative one on the output ceiling. So that's all I wanted to show you is that in the red on the stereo output meters, that red section towards the top three and above, you don't got to worry. You really just are super concerned with the red tag right here, but most concerned of all with these true peak levels. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, as always, please subscribe to WideLogicProRules.com here on the channel, on the website, and please be sure to check out the description below where I include links to PDFs, guides, and templates to help you in your journey with Logic Pro. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.